What's up guys, my name is Khan, and we're back today with more gear blocks and today I want to do another kit build and we're going to do the formula car just because I want to get into some more complicated builds and I just want to see really how the formula one car's suspension is set up and how the dev did it and maybe get some ideas for our next build. After the go-kart transmission video, I got a lot of suggestions from you guys on how to improve it. We could use stepper motors and move the uh, the gears between the different positions. So we'll have to work on some more transmissions and drive systems. But I just wanna do one more kit build before we get into more of that. This is 73 build steps, 258 parts. It is a lot of stuff. And uh, I think this is the right car. It's called the Electric Racer. And uh, yeah, we're gonna build it. We're gonna race it. We're gonna see what happens and hopefully I don't screw it all up. It, there's a lot of carbon fiber already, so already this is a good sign that this is going to be the right car. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I'm curious to see what kind of suspension this has. I honestly haven't checked. I think it's probably a, um, I think it's probably just like a wishbone in the front, and, uh, I'm not sure if it's a full cantilever system or not, but, you know, either way, it would be cool to see what the dev's done. I know this has a dual motor sort of setup um so i'm not sure exactly how that works and i'm curious to take a look at it but i'm pretty sure there's two drive motors in this thing so it's gonna go really fast anyway let's just rifle through some build steps here real quick it's going to take a bit oh my god this is such excessive framework okay let's 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 geez okay interesting is that a half wait a minute is that a half height block oh I, like, I was monologuing. I didn't even pay attention. This is a full height block. You can make half height blocks. So you can go on to half a grid scale instead of the full... That is actually a very useful thing to know. There are some cases when I was building where I was like, man, you know, like spacing between gears, for example, you can't really space between gears if they're all full blocks, but you have some gear spacings that, depending on the ratios, they're actually a half block. So that's how we could set that up which is cool the initial part of these kit builds is always kind of funny you're just sort of slapping a lot of parts together and then uh this is clearly the rear of the car this looks like the rear diffuser this bottom plate and these are like the rear quarter panels which i'm clearly placing wrong something like that yeah that's this is clearly the rear diffuser that's where you'd have your little tail light you know on a normal f1 car good stuff i can actually hold on a minute i can just fly this would actually be, you know what, this is probably a whole lot easier if I just put this up off the ground and now I can just fly all around the car. Yeah, that's probably the easy way to kit build. I love kit building in this game. It's so great. And the dev just actually posted a guide on the Steam uh, community page, workshop discussions. I don't know, one of those. Uh, but yeah, he posted a guide on how to make your own kits. There is a full kit functionality in game. He's got a whole script for it and uh, he posted a guide on how to do it. So I'm going to have to build some parts that are actually, you know, worth kitting. And then we're definitely gonna have to make kits out of them and uh, upload the kits to the workshop because that's just it's just super cool it's like making your own lego sets i mean i'm pretty sure everyone who's ever played with lego has always dreamed of making their own lego set i mean that that's kind of that's kind of what i've done and yeah it's gonna be sick to make a super cool car and then kit it out and then people can build the kit and after they've built the kit they can go back and make changes because they've seen how all the inner workings of it go you know it'd be a lot harder i think to make changes to something that you didn't actually put together yourself because you don't really know you know how all the inner pieces are connected how all the motors connect the gearbox works all that stuff right but now we'll be able to actually make you know educated changes let's say um how the those go these just go under here i think this half block thing is really interesting like look this is off grid this piece is off grid from this piece but it still can attach Oh, but it can't attach to that one because it's not on its grid. Oh, this is yeah. There's a lot of potential there with what you can do with these half blocks. That's it. Yeah. See, look. If I attach to this part and behind, it has to be on that part's grid. But if I can attach the half block, now I'm off the grid. But this isn't attached to that, so that's kind of cool. Interesting mechanics. It's it's really neat. It's I'm learning a lot just by building these kits, which is exactly what I was hoping to. All right, body panels going on. Well, these are more like frame panels, I guess. It's interesting, this whole thing's made of carbon fiber. Uh, there we go. Perfect. Curious how fast it's actually gonna be. Never actually tried it. I've, I haven't spawned in any of the devs' vehicles that are kits, because I feel like, you know, the reward is, is building the kit yourself. And then you can, you know, test drive it out. Uh, how the... Oh, okay, these go here. 
interesting, like that, and then this goes up. A lot of, a lot of frame building, it seems. Who knew that there was a lot of frame parts to build an actual F1 car? This is kind of what concerns me. My cars are all just gonna be, like, straight box frames, 100%. Like, this is so much detail, and it's just the frame. Like, it's, it's ridiculous. The devs got some crazy ability to build really, really cool builds. Okay, now we're into the dual drive motor already. Oh, that's what those back areas are for. Oh, okay, yeah, these are big motors too. Like this is, this is awesome. It's just gonna be probably two motors, one on either side of a gear. That's gonna be a lot of power having three motors like that. It's not exactly how an F1 car does it. You know, maybe Formula E. I actually don't know how Formula E cars work. I know they're like they're big electric cars, but I've I've never actually taken a look at how they work. Um, okay, let's put the rest of this, you know, axle holder together. I guess there we go. Get that, and then get these on it. Okay, I think I did that right. It's a little confusing with the the texture of carbon fiber being carbon fiber. There's no outlines on the blocks in this menu. Like you have to really know the size of the blocks and look for where the joints are. So it gets a little confusing at times. But I think I did it right. I mean, we'll find out if we go to mount something and there's no mount point for it. It's pretty much sort of the way this goes. Uh, this extends off of the back of this. Okay, this is, we're clearly getting into like the axle and stuff. I know this car has a differential, which is the main reason I wanted to build it because I'm really excited to see what a differential, well, I know what a differential does. I'm excited to see how a differential is gonna play into the driving physics of this game. Um, you know, in real life, obviously it allows the inside tire to move, you know, at a different speed compared to the outside tire, depending on loads. And, uh, which means basically you can go around the corner without that huge understeering problem we've been having, which is very, very nice. But I actually haven't, you know, used a single differential in this game yet. So I'm curious to see how it actually, how it actually plays out with our driving and what kind of lap times we could do and, and all that jazz. All right, apparently the brake light was actually at the very back and the part that I thought was the brakes up here was actually just the motor assembly. So, you know, it's fine. Don't worry about it. We're, this is huge. This is actually much bigger than I thought it would be. So the rear wheels are gonna be here. Front wheels are probably right up here. It's cool. It's a really cool build so far, but yeah, it's, it's much bigger than I thought it would be. What the heck is this? All right, we got like an axle extending shaft. Cool, interesting. That's kind of that's kind of a useful piece to have actually because then you can disconnect your axle from a transmission you can swap transmissions out and stuff and then have different you know car setups and that sort of thing I don't know what this pin is for but you know that is that's interesting I guess we'll find out wait does this have a gear shifter what it's got a piston hookup is it is it our shifter is that how this is doing this? I mean, forward and reverse would be probably on the, uh, on the gears themselves, right? So, like, is this... I don't know what this is for. I'm excited. I really hope there's a shifter. I really hope there's two gears in this. That would be awesome. What does that connect to? It connects to... Oh, that's how... See, I was trying to figure out how to do this. How to have this sleeve axle before. But that's what you need this for. This lets you do, like, an expansion joint on an axle. Oh, see, that's so smart. So now we can take this and hook this up to here like that. Yeah, yeah. Okay, come on, get in there. There, no, in the hole. There we go, right? And then now we put this axle. Oh, see, that's so much smarter. This is so much better than all the transmission setups I was doing with the double gears. So this one's allowed to slide, but it can't rotate. So it's always going to follow the groove of this, like whatever rotation this sleeve is at, this is going to rotate with, but it's allowed to move the extra block depending on the piston. Oh, that's so perfect. Okay, this needs to come back more. It needs to be at the the right flush there. So that's like this. That's also a sliding and a rotation joint. Which, there we go, like that. This one is just a rotation joint, right? And this one is a sliding joint. That's wicked. And then that, okay. And I guess these are, these are, they're overlapping. Is that a problem? I mean, this is how it says to build it. All right, so if I push it back to there. Yeah, like that's still, it's still fine. I hope that's enough. I don't think these are allowed to overlap. Like I'm pretty sure if the axles overlap, the, the creation would just explode. The attention to detail that, you know, 
the dev can do with just blocks. I mean, I've seen some of the workshop creations too. There, there's already some really, really great builders in this community and I already feel inadequate and I've only been playing the game for like a week. So yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna be fun. There's a lot of really cool stuff we can build and I definitely need to improve my building skills. I'm obviously gonna try and focus on building like, you know, mechanical systems and that sort of thing. Uh, and not so much on the aesthetics, but there's some crazy good builders already. And uh, I'm sure there's just going to be more and more. Yeah, that's definitely a diffuser. This is awesome, though. This is a really, really nice looking build. All right, now we're putting more gears on this. It does have gears. That is that is great. Okay, so how does this work? There's a... Wait, okay, so the red gear is right in front of the connection point. Between the piston. Okay. Okay. The yellow gear is right after the connection point, and the white gear is before? I'm very confused as to how this gearbox is going to work. Oh, you're going to put another gear up on this axle. Oh, okay, okay. So we're going to put an axle up here and connect this through like that, right to there. Perfect. Give it a swivel and a swivel. And then we're going to put this gear on this side. This gear is probably going to be the one that goes to the differential. Because, like, you're going to have your transmission here. You're going to have some sort of, like, probably a gear right in the middle there. Maybe? I don't know. Let's see. Three gears. Oh, my goodness. It has... Oh, that makes sense. It's got three separate ratios. Wow. Okay, cool. How does he control the piston position? Can you do stepper motors with a piston? Like, when I did pistons on the go-kart, it seemed like it was only, you know, full extension or no extension. It didn't seem like there was any option for in between. I guess we'll find out. I'll check how this is programmed after. You can't check in, unfortunately, in the uh, kit building mode. You can't mess with any of the programming. But once we bring this into a sandbox, we should be able to see what's going on there. Because he's got... This is a first, the first ratio here. Uh, which is, yeah, some, like, what? 12 tooth to 20. And then it's even, 16 to 16. And then it's 20 to 12. And it shifts once. And then it shifts twice. Oh, man, this is cool. It's a three-speed. I like that. That's neat. Oh, it's a crown gear diff. Oh, that makes sense. I was wondering how he was going to do the 90 degree, but it's a crown gear dip. So it's just got a crown gear on this on this outer edge. That's right. I forgot that existed in the game. That's awesome. Um, yeah, and then that, that spins freely. We get some gears in here. Uh, which this one goes here, right? Yes. This one goes here. Last time, one of you guys commented and said that I built my diff backwards or upside down, but like it's symmetrical. It doesn't, it spins anyway. It really doesn't matter what orientation you put the diff in as long as you have all three gears on the inside. The side that the crown gear is on matters because if I put it on this side of the gear, um, it would spin backwards, right? Like the whole, the drive shaft would spin backwards. So you'd have your whole car going reverse. It would still work. It's just, you know, it's, it's not right. Anyway, the other half of the CV joints. That's cool. Done. I like that like that a lot neat i'm so happy that this game has all these mechanical systems like cv joints right away without having to do any crazy sort of you know building and anything super nutty you can just build a cv joint boom done all right done and duplicated that's uh that's kind of cool it's very very short i guess that's why these cv joints are so close together this is the uh the part that's going to hold the wheel there's a really long section of axle afterwards it holds the wheel but you know, it is what it is. And then we're going to have some uh, some frames here, assuming, to make a double wishbone setup. Pretty neat stuff. All right, we can just uh, test this. I think it's all assembled, but it should all it should all flop down, which it, I think it does. Looks like it does. Not a lot of suspension clearance, but I mean, it makes sense. It is an F1 car, so it should be relatively stiff suspension. The fact that it's a three-speed is kind of cool. That for the suspension itself? I don't know what that is. I, I'm curious. It's probably for the suspension or something, right? Oh, wait. It is for the suspension. Oh, the suspension's here in the middle. That's cool. This is attached to this axle. So as this goes up and down, it twists this axle, which then tries to twist this out, which then changes... Or twist this in, I guess, which then changes this... Oh, it's so cool. It's like a cantilever suspension system, but, like, you know, right up here in the middle. That is super neat. Oh, man. That is so creative. Yeah, you put suspension between that and that and that and that. And then when this tries to go up, this tries to push in. When this tries to push in, it compresses the suspension. That is that is wicked. That is such a cool suspension setup. I like that a lot. Yeah, that's exactly what this is. Oh my god, that's amazing. Okay, time to build some front suspension. 
which I'm assuming is also going to be a cantilever setup. That would be super cool. So we're just going to put some axles there. Um, I have, it's interesting, on a couple of my RC cars, one of them has a cantilever setup on the front, which is super cool. Oh, these are offset. Oh, that's weird. Why are they, why are they different? I guess, oh, are they doing, is he doing the thing where it's one suspension bar that goes across both? Like, they both share a suspension bar and they both push towards the middle? I bet you that's what this is. Like, these are going to connect with one piece of suspension in the middle. Anyway, on my RC cars, I do have uh, one that has cantilever suspension, and it's really cool. And actually working on converting the other one to have it as well, um, because it's super convenient. It, uh, it sort of, it sort of saves you a lot of space in the front end, where the other option being, uh, I know I put that wrong, don't worry about it. The other option being when you have, like, big A-arms with a single pillar suspension in the middle, um, you know, actually it's all double wishbone, but you have, like, a big vertical suspension piece, whereas with the cantilever, you can lower the suspension setup down, the mount points are horizontal, and, uh, and you can save more space, which lets you put a smaller body on the chassis, which is kind of why we have it the way it is but yeah so it's pretty cool stuff and uh it's definitely what f1 cars use in the front there'll be like two suspension pieces in the front that then go to a cantilever out those carbon fiber struts on the sides of the car all right the top suspension arms are ball joint down oh i see it snaps to the top of it that's actually a really cool really cool thing there we go perfect like that and then this one, same deal. Actually, probably make this easier by grabbing it at the ball joint. Yeah, wow, that's that's awesome. It just auto rotates and auto snaps it. So convenient that tools like that exist in this game. And then we put this one here and this one. It's definitely gonna be a dual suspension setup. There's gonna be like a suspension here, suspension here. They cantilever off these bottom pieces. So as this rotates, it's gonna pivot up. Oh, it's not actually attached. These are completely separate from each other. They're just on opposite sides. So as this rotates up, it only pushes this spring. And when this one rotates up, it pushes that spring. Oh, that's cool. That's an interesting setup. That's sick. I really hope I got all these connections right. That should be affixed to that, which is... Is that true? Is that right? This is... Oh, yeah, no, those aren't even attached. They're not attached to this pivot point. Yeah, that's right. So this is fixed to that. That's true. When this rotates up, this is going to twist in. It's going to push that. But this isn't... There's no pivot point here. One of these has to pivot. Uh-oh. Which one has to pivot? Yeah, those ones have to pivot. I was about to say, if these don't pivot, this suspension's not gonna work. It's just gonna get stuck. It'll be, like, completely rigid. So that one's gotta pivot, and then this one's gotta pivot. Right? Is that, is that right? The one inside? Yeah. Alright. Perfect. And of course, no Formula car is complete without a giant rear wing. It's gonna be really cool when there's aerodynamics. Um, even if it's only just aerodynamic parts, like scrap mechanic mods have, you know, where it's just like the individual part is aerodynamic and not the whole body. I mean, that's cool. You can do downforce stuff. I do want to make a propeller Formula car, though. Like a car that has a big propeller that generates downforce. Um, just because I feel like it would be awesome. To try that out. Okay, so big wheels on the back. They just jam. They just go right on there. Yeah, just like that. Alright, perfect. And then the small ones on the front. This thing looks cool. Alright. And then, of course, the first thing we can do, just to make sure that everything's working right. Uh, actually, hold on. I gotta connect the motors to the batteries. Well, it works. Oh, my front wheels don't spin. Uh, yeah. That's, that's probably, I probably need to fix that too. Hold on a minute. The connections, man. I always forget. There, that's got to spin. That's got to spin. All right, there we go. Yeah, now it actually drives. Okay, so that's cool. But how do I shift into third? I'm in second and it says shift up, click. But if I try and click a third one, the piston doesn't have the space to extend further. I figured out the gear thing. That piston I had in the beginning that I thought was interfering with those two axles, it, it wasn't. Yeah, you should just follow the instructions and it's fine. So it looked like they were overlapping, but they weren't. And now I can shift between all three gears. Although there's nothing that stops me in second gear. Yeah, you just have to kind of like notice that you're in second gear. Which is kind of interesting. So definitely gonna have to make a transmission with a stepper motor. Like you guys were talking about. But either way, yeah. I'm gonna finish this up. And uh, and then we're gonna go race. This is sweet. This car is wicked fast. Alright, that's it. Built the whole kit. It's got like a little bit of a cage on it. 
Looks like it works. Still functional. Awesome. So we're just going to take it. We're going to save it. And then we're going to uh, bring it to the track. There are multiple... Um, there are multiple tracks, but I've so far just been doing the same one. This thing looks... This thing looks amazing. Alright, does the wheel actually turn? It does. That's cool. That's pretty cool. A little more movement than a uh, formula car would have. Normally, they're only like 90 to 90. Like, you know, 180 degrees total. But still pretty good. Alright, let's back up. Oh my god. Forgot I need to turn on destruction, so let's do that as well. Because, you know, if we crash, we want to crash. This car should be pretty good, though. I mean, it's got a differential. It's got suspension. So we're going to do like a slow warm-up lap. And then we're going to try and, you know, really push it. But let me just, uh, let me just set this thing to have uh, some invulnerability turned off. Thank you very much. And now let's see what we can do. Here we go. Let's do a nice slow lap. Oh my god, that's a little wobbly. Wow, that is... It needs stiffer suspension. Look at the wobble. The speed wobble. It's got good braking power, though. Oh my god. You know what? I need my controller. I don't know why I don't have my controller. I'm trying to, like, tap keyboards. I lost something. I think I lost part of the front wing. Oh man, this thing is sick. It's so gripped up. It's so great. I definitely need my controller, though. But it is super great. The only issue with the kits is I don't think they have keybinds set for controllers, so... This is ridiculously good. Oh my goodness. Oh god. Oh no. Man, it's gonna take so much to make a perfect race car in this game. Like, you could do so much to make your car drive really well and tune all the suspension. You could change your Ackerman angles and everything. Like, oh man. It's gonna be, it's gonna be nuts to set up something. This is gonna be a fast lap. It's gonna be sub one minute, maybe? Yep, sub one minute. Just screaming into first gear. That was even early on the brakes. Didn't even need to be that early. Oh, maybe I did. Did I miss that? Oh, I did. Okay, okay. Wow, all right, this car is sick. Oh, and now I definitely broke the front wing. Okay, let's just leave this one here. Let's go get a new one, and, uh, yeah. We're gonna, we're gonna put down some fast laps. Uh. Did I, I dropped it from too high? Are you serious? That's hilarious. I didn't realize that was gonna be, I literally dropped it. Oh my good. And with Destruction, it just... Alright, well, we have another wrecked car on the side of the track. That's so funny. If you're playing with Destruction, make sure you put your vehicle on the ground. I mean, that makes sense. It's just kind of funny that that happens. It's a little wobbly. Uh, like, the suspension needs a little bit more damping, almost. But... Oh, okay, that was a little aggressive. That was a little... That was a little aggressive on the brakes. Yeah, it needs... You gotta go down to, like, second gear on the brakes and then you gotta like get up to speed again it's hard to pick the gear though when you've got uh, a piston that's just linear and just slides between all three i like the driving physics in this game it's it's kind of hard to say like scrap mechanic is really slidey it doesn't feel like you have grip ever um and there's a little bit of understeering that happens in gear blocks but i feel like uh, god dang it's being of understeering I feel like a lot of that, though, could be compensated with the setup that you do, like the steering angles you put, the, you know, the differential stiffness. I feel like there's a lot we could do in this game to really adjust for the understeer. Whereas in Scrap Mechanic, you just kind of don't have that at all. You're just sort of sliding all the time. I definitely need to set this to have controller controls, though. Actually, no, I need to build my own car and then set it to have controller controls. I love the way the front suspension just disintegrates. It kind of feels like a real Formula 1 crash. That's awesome. Oh, god dang it. I was so close.
I love how the parts have their physics. Like, I know it seems stupid, but, like, I love how this kept sliding with us. That piece is still, like, sliding on its own. It's just stupid. It's awesome. I love the destruction of this game. Yeah, making a race car that can very easily, like, I think... Oh, god dang it. I missed that. It's gonna be, uh... There's gonna be a few things we're gonna have to do to make a really good race car. One is gonna be tuning a wicked suspension setup. And having a good braking setup that doesn't cause your car to wobble under braking. So that's gonna be... That's gonna be a big thing. And then the second thing is going to be making a, sequ a sequential gearbox. Something where we can just go, I want to be in second, I want to be in third, I want to be in fourth, and it'll automatically put you there without having to guess what gear you're in. Uh, this gearbox is cool with the three speed, but the nice thing about the go-kart is you're either high or low. With this, you have to like kind of figure out what gear you're in based on what the engine sounds like. And it's a little bit tough. Oh god, and then if you downshift too many gears, uh, the back just all of a sudden has no ability to spin. So it's a little bit rough. I had one good lap and now I'm just falling apart. It's just, it's just a total disaster. But here we go, let's see if we can actually set a lap here. Are we missing parts? No, I think this car is good. Breaking a straight line. Go a little wide, it's fine. F1 cars can go off-road, right? This thing is incredibly fast. Yeah, I needed to I needed to hit that corner a little bit early. I'm like super late on all my corner transitions. I need to I need to be aiming for apexes before God. Oh my god. Oh no. All right, I just want a clean lap. I had that one sub one minute, and it's just it, it just not happening since then. Now the pressure's just getting to me. But yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. We're gonna finish this last lap, and then we'll we'll do one more. And you know, if we die, then that, then that's I I'm I'm done. I've spent all of the team's budget, and uh, yeah, team principal's getting pretty mad. I'm probably not gonna be driving next season. You know, normal issues. Okay, well. Oh my god. I think I hit a part. I think there was a part in the road that was left over from one of the previous accidents. Wow. That was awesome. <laughs> oh my god. There's so look, here's the whole drivetrain. Just just chilling. Well, anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Let me know what else you want to see in Gearblocks. I got some stuff I want to do. Making a good race car is going to be tough. It's going to be it's going to be an interesting thing. Making a race car that can do this track fast is going to be a challenge. But uh, I'm excited to try it. And, uh, you know, let me know what you guys think. And we'll see you all next time.